Welcome back to the Mountain Man Medical YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about something that I've been seeing flying around about our medical kits. I wanted to kind of explain why this particular item is in our medical kit and why you should keep it in there, even if you don't agree that it's the best item on the market. So stick around, we're gonna get into that next. So the thing about the medical world is that it's constantly changing. Doctors and scientists are constantly studying new techniques and procedures and changing up the old ways of doing things. As new information comes in, all of these little procedures that we do for first aid gets changed. We figure out better ways of doing things once we are able to study the data and understand what it is that's going on, we are able to kind of piece together a better picture and a better technique for saving somebody's life. One of the big pushes for that is the military. So the military has a lot of casualties, a lot of chances to test things like tourniquets. And after you've got a few thousand cases of tourniquet use, you start to see trends and you start to see what works and what doesn't work. And then it starts to change how you might apply a tourniquet in the future and also change all of our understanding about why tourniquets work and how they work. It used to be back in the day that they thought that tourniquets were evil. Like the last video that I did talking about how tourniquets are misinterpreted and how you might think that you're gonna get an amputation if you use a tourniquet, we now know that that's false and that's wrong. Now, one of the things that I didn't anticipate is a blowbacks that I've gotten from people in my comments talking about how the SWAT T is a subpar product and Mount Man Medical must be trying to just cut quarters and save money by putting this subpar, this unproven tourniquet into the medical kits. The SWAT T is actually a pretty good tourniquet. And I'm not the only one that thinks so. There's lots of other companies out there, EMTs, paramedics, nurses, and doctors who all trust the SWAT T to stop massive hemorrhaging. On top of that, it's also a fantastic multi-use item. You can use it to stop major bleeding as a tourniquet, or you can use it as a pressure dressing to apply a splint and keep that in place. You can tie it around somebody's neck and, and use it as a sling. You can use it for pretty much whatever you want. In fact, I'm gonna do a video here soon about how I turn the SWAT T into a slingshot so that you can use it in a survival situation if you had to. So the SWAT T is only limited by your own imagination and you can dream up any kind of use that you want for it, but primarily it's included in the kit as a way to stop massive bleeding. So then you might be asking, so if it's so good then, why are people having such a big problem with it? And the primary reason, the reason why most people don't trust it is because it's not recommended by the TCCC committee. Now, if you don't know what the TCCC committee is, that's the Tactical Combat Casualty Care Committee. It's a think tank set up by the DOD to investigate the best practices for combat medicine. Also, it's going to be the best possible gear for a military unit to stop bleeding and to save lives. Now, the key focus here is tactical combat casualty care. Now, if you are a civilian who's unlikely to be engaged in daily or weekly or monthly combat, then you have to recognize that the TCCC committee isn't discussing things that are meant for you. It's meant for combat. So if you're not in combat on a regular basis, you have to take everything that the TCCC committee says with a grain of salt. Now, why isn't the SWAT T recommended by the TCCC committee? It's not because it doesn't work. It does work. It's proven to work and it will work. The reason why it's not recommended by the TCCC committee is because of the way that you apply the SWAT T tourniquet. You wrap it around the affected limb and then once it's tight enough, you just tuck one of the ends underneath and it secures on itself. Now for combat operations, that's not ideal. If you need to drag somebody over a wall under heavy machine gun fire, you want a tourniquet that's gonna stay in place no matter what. And that's one of the reasons why the CAT tourniquet and the soft T wide are so highly recommended and why they have such a great track record is because they stay in place no matter what. The SWAT T does not stay in place 
quite as well. You need to be making sure that you're checking it on a regular basis. So while it's not the most ideal tourniquet, it will still work. Just because it's not recommended by the TCCC committee doesn't mean that it has no validity in our world as civilians. Now, if you anticipate that you are going to be under heavy machine gun fire and need to drag casualties out of the line of fire, then yes, absolutely, you should be upgrading to a cat tourniquet. I myself still carry plenty of cat tourniquets and that's going to be my first choice if I have one. But I also like the fact that I can have a secondary backup tourniquet that stows easily because it's such a small compact size and I can use it for a multitude of other items if I need it to do that. So it's a fantastic backup tourniquet to your cat tourniquet. Now, when it comes to cutting corners, that pisses me off a little bit because it's trying to say that we're only in this for the money. And that is not the case. I wanna make sure that everyone has the ability to stop massive hemorrhaging, even if they don't have a whole lot of money. And the SWAT T is less money than a cat tourniquet. So if you only have enough money to buy our Yellowstone or our Sweetwater medical kits, but you don't have enough money to upgrade to a cat tourniquet, at least you have something. Even if it's not the best on the market, you have something that you can use to control that bleeding. And as long as you're double checking it on a regular basis to make sure it's still secured, you're gonna be fine. Use it the way it's intended, Upgrade to a cat tourniquet if you can, but if you can't, at least you've got something there that's gonna be able to save your life or save someone else's life if you need it. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for hanging out and listening to me talk a little bit about the SWAT T tourniquet and why I think it's a fantastic choice to keep in your medical kit and it will work for you. We sell them on our website. Check out mountainmanmedical.com and pick yourself up a cat tourniquet, a SWAT T tourniquet, or a Yellowstone or Sweetwater kit and take care of yourself or someone else you love. Don't forget to drop a comment down below and tell me what your opinion is on the SWAT T tourniquet. I'm totally open to changing my mind. If I need to reassess a particular tactic or a piece of gear, I'd much rather do that in this time of peace than when it really matters the most and I wish I had changed my mind earlier. So I'm totally open to that, guys. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I'll catch you guys in the next one.